The Black Lake Hogwarts Legacy, every explorable location confirmed so far. The Great Lake, alternatively known as the Black Lake, was a large body of water. It was a landlocked freshwater lake located to the south of Hogwarts Castle. The castle stands on a cliff overlooking the water. It was about half a mile in diameter and the castle's plumbing network drained into it. The lake had a number of very unusual inhabitants, including a giant squid, a village of mare people, and many grindylos. The Black Lake is a vast body of water surrounding Hogwarts. It is home to numerous magical creatures, with a giant squid being the most renowned beast dwelling in its depths. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fires sees Harry exploring the depths of the lake, revealing that it is an environment bursting with life. Though it has been briefly explored already, there is so much Hogwarts legacy could hide beneath the Great Lake. Having never seen the giant squid in live action, the protagonist could befriend the beast if given the chance to meet it. The lake was often said to be very cold, but Victor Crumb was known to have swam in it, wearing nothing but swimming trunks, apparently not affected by the low temperature, although this was probably due to the fact that his school, Durmstrang, was located in a place that was even colder. Harry Potter while under the effects of Gillyweed stated the water didn't feel icy anymore either, on the contrary, he felt pleasantly cool and very light. Hogwarts students, like Tulip Karasu and Barnaby Lee, were known to swim in the lake. Lily Evans and her school friends were also said to dangle their legs over the water, which could mean that there were no rules whilst they were in school against swimming in the lake. History Every school year at Hogwarts, after the Hogwarts Express arrived at Hogsmeade Station, Rubius Hagrid, or a substitute, called the first-year students to follow him to the lake shore and the Hogwarts boats. Whereupon Hagrid occupied one boat and each other boat carried up to four students. The boats then self-propelled across the lake to a dock under Hogwarts Castle as per tradition. At the start of the 1994-1995 school year, first-year Dennis Creevy said he fell into the lake and the giant squid pushed him back into a boat. Upon reaching the castle, Hagrid and the first years disembarked and climbed the stairs to the lawn, entering the castle through the front doors. First years then waited until summoned into the Great Hall to get sorted into their houses. At the end of their first year, students took the boats back to Hogsmeade Station, while most older students rode down the lane in carriages. At the end of every school year, graduating seventh years left the school by sailing back across the lake. At some point during the 1987-1988 school year, the Black Lake incident involved a student flying a broom over the lake and diving repeatedly into the water, which resulted in Professor Dumbledore forbidding all students from using school brooms outside of flying class. On June 6, 1994, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger and Sirius Black were attacked by Dementors on the shore of the lake. Harry tried to protect them by using Patronus Charm, but he did not succeed. Before he fainted, he suddenly saw a person conjuring a corporeal Patronus on the opposite side of the lake. Later that night, after using Hermione's time-turner in hospital wing, they went back in time to save Black. Harry circled the lake and waited for the Dementors. Watching the events, he realized that he earlier saw himself and conjured a corporeal Patronus in deer form to flush the Dementors. Triwizard Tournament Students from Durmstrang Institute arrived at Hogwarts on their enchanted boat via the Great Lake. The second task of the 1994-1995 Triwizard Tournament took place on February 24, 1995. The four champions Harry Potter, Fleur Delacour, Cedric Diggory, and Victor Crumb assembled on the shore of the lake and were told that they had one hour to retrieve what had been stolen from them. They had to retrieve the stolen item from the Merpeople's village and return. The champions entered the water, Harry had to eat the gillyweed, which gave him gills to breathe underwater, and webbed hands and feet to allow him to swim faster. Both Fleur and Cedric utilized the bubblehead charm, while Victor partially transfigured himself into a shark. Spectators had no knowledge of what was happening during the task until at least one champion returned but were able to monitor time remaining by observing a provided clock. 
Albus Dumbledore's Funeral In 1997, Albus Dumbledore was laid to rest in a white tomb on the shores of the lake following his death during the Battle of the Astronomy Tower. The place where the ceremony was held was set up outside of the castle near the Black Lake as well. Hundreds of golden chairs had been set out in straight even rows. An aisle ran down the center of them, there was a marble table standing at the front, all chairs facing it. An extraordinary assortment of people had settled into half of the chairs, shabby and smart, old and young. The mere people who took up residence in the lake attended the funeral. Trevor's Escape At some point in his life, Trevor managed to escape from Neville and into the lake. Both Pet and Owner felt a sense of relief at this.